Hello, hello, how you guys are doing? This is Retired Command Sergeant Ed Centeno from Etin Consulting. Thank you for tuning in. Please share this video so we can help as many service members out there as we can. On how to request your medical records and what is called a VAC file, okay? Short video, really important. And I'm gonna talk about based on my experience. The first method to order your medical records. Okay, this form is called the standard form 180. Okay, that's what it's called. This form is really important for you to order your medical records. It's pretty self explanatory, it's not that hard to fill out. But if you go to the form, you also have to make sure that it's updated before you request your medical records. Okay. They have instructions on how to fill it out. I'm gonna go to some of the steps here to fill it out, okay? And if you need this form, you can send me a message and I can send it to you, okay? It's pretty much self-explanatory. Your name, um, if it was active duty, reserve, social security. Um, if you know your last location of your last duty location, for example, if you were on a post, you want to make sure that you put that in there because it makes it easier for them to find your record, okay? If this person is deceased, of course, I hope not because <laughs> you're the one that requesting this. And over here in this information, for documents requested, you have to add what are you asking for. My recommendation is to click on everything, okay? You want to get all your records, okay? For example, DU-214s or equivalents, okay? Official personal file, medical records, dental records, and other to specify. You might ask yourself, why will you want to order your official military personnel file? And this is the reason why. And this is what I'm telling you how experience is so important. You never know, for example, you went to combat and you have an award, for example, that you receive a bronze star or, or a high award and you are lacking proof or evidence that you actually were there or actually the events that happened. Well, guess what? On the award, there's a narrative that talks about what happened on that date that could also be used as evidence. And the forms to submit the award is signed by a military officer. You see how experience make a whole difference on evidence so that's why it's so important for you to request everything. You can also request your uh, dental records, okay? Purpose, I also tell people to pull uh, um, benefits, explain um, here, request your name, this is your name. I'm a military service member, okay? You can put your name, your address, really important because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen here in a second. If somebody's requesting their records for you, is usually has to be a paralegal, a lawyer. Like I started at the beginning, if they're a paralegal, they have to make sure that they submit this for you. If it's other specified to collect documents, they have to be a power of attorney. I'm not doing that. I'm just explaining this, okay? Authorization of signature. This is what you sign and date it. And here's a part that's really important. I want you, I want you to pay attention to this. It has to do with the service that you serve with and also the times, okay? For example, I serve in the army. If you were discharged in certain dates, enlisted or officer is gonna give you a number. And over here is either personal records or medical or service treatment records, which is medical records, okay? Once you find your number based on the time that you serve and in the branch, you'll go down here and you know exactly where you have to send it. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Some of them you can fax them or you have to send it through mail, okay? To regular mail, all right? Pretty easy, this is the first method, okay? I'm gonna show you the second method that you can use, all right? When I talked about the disclaimer or the website, one of the websites that you can use, I will post the links once I edit this video on YouTube and, and Facebook, this is the information. Remember I told you about that disclaimer in here, filing a claim for medical benefits. 
He says it right there, and I quote, Veterans who plan to file a claim for medical benefits with the Department of Veterans Affairs, VA, do not need to request a copy of their military health record from the National Record Center. And I'm telling you not to do that because you want to make sure that you yourself collect the evidence and make it easier for them. What do I say that? Because when you prepare everything for them, you make it easier for them. So you're doing their job, even though it's a little bit more work for you, though, but that's what I do for you. I prepare everything for you. So you make the job easier for them, okay? The second method to request. All right, brother, thank you, my friend. Here to help, brother. This is another way you can request your records and it's called a BAC file. A lot of people have asked, okay? which is a comprehensive collection of documents and records related to veterans military service. It contains discharge papers, VA medical records, and other personal information. Now, you might ask, what is this? For those that work in the government, this is nothing other than a Freedom of, Inform of Information Act request, a FOIA. That's all it is, I'm gonna repeat that is a Freedom of Information Act request. That's all it is. You're pretty much requesting your records, service records, medical records to an official channel, which is probably gonna take a little, bit, a little bit longer, but you're still gonna get them, okay? I'm gonna put this website. It has a lot of great information here, but how do you request it using this method, all right? You're gonna need this form right here, which is another form. And it's called a BA Form 20-10206. And I will post these forms on my YouTube channel and Facebook if you need them, okay? It is a FOIA request, okay? It tells you here where to send it, all right? Mail to or fax, you can also fax it. Um, it tells you here what information you're gonna fill out, name, social security, date of birth, current mailing address, really important for you to put the mailing address, um, and it tells you there what is it for, okay, what information you're requesting it, why, pretty self-explanatory. This is a little bit more detail and, no, and you're gonna get more records from your file. That's all it is, different methods, but this is the two methods that I know to request your records. Remember, once you fill everything out, and if you need help to fill this out, let me know, I can help you with it. All you have to do is send it. I recommend to send it via mail, email, I'm sorry. And the email is foia, which is F-O-I-A dot V-V-A-R-M-C at V-A dot gov. I will post the link and instructions on how to do it, all right? You can track the status of your request by logging in to your VA.gov account. It will appear at your VA.gov account as an open claim Freedom of Information Act, okay? Pretty short video. I hope you like this content, how to request your medical records. I will put specific instructions on how to do it. I will put the links, I will put the forms, and the only thing you have to do is follow the instructions and send it. If you don't want to do it, I can do it for you. You can contact me to actually to help you, okay? If you have asked for my services and you still need my services, you can also reach me at my Facebook account or my other social media accounts, okay? Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Etsin Space Consultation on YouTube. If you need to reach out, please reach out. I'm here to help you.